and make an argument for the specific panel that I want to show. All right? So I'm passing in an argument to this function, the panel that I want to show. All right. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to change each of these to call the new function. And to pass in the panel that I want to show. change by function, it's going to show, or it's going to first hide everything, then the one that I want to show is going to hide. Oh, so the one that I want to show is going to hide. Mm -hmm. The one that I want to show is going to show. All right. Well, which one do I want to show? It's a different one each time. Where can I find that? I can find that in the argument P to show. So now my function has an argument. Now, I imagine you've all seen functions with arguments before, right? If you've done Visual Basic, you've seen it. Heck, if you've done Excel, you've seen it, right? Because in Excel, you can write a sum function to sum up, or you can use the sum function, rather, to sum up a group of cells. Does it give you the same sum each time? No. Depending on the argument you give it, depending on what range of cells you give it, it gives you the sum of those. Same idea here. We're creating this function that accepts a panel argument, and so which panel is it going to is it going to show? It's going to show the one that we pass it. So I'm going to put down here p to show dot visible equals true. All right. So, now if I go and run this, should still work. Now, this to be sure is not as substantial of a gain as the other change, right? Because if we think through it, um, if we think through it, um, If we were to add a new panel to this, we'd still have to change two functions. We'd still have to change this guy to hide the new panel. We'd still have to write the code to, uh, to, 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 to work with the button for that panel. All right? So we don't really gain that much for it. The reason I bring this up is that one thing that's tough for people to do in an object-oriented world is realize that these objects that we create can be used in functions. People, generally speaking, sort of get the idea of functions that involve giving it a string or giving it a number or giving it whatever, and, and then the function does something with that number. Like maybe we give two numbers and the function adds those two numbers together and returns the results. A lot of times people get that. But what's harder for people to visualize is the argument to a function, just like the return value of the function, we can make anything we want to. So we can give this function here a panel argument. And that panel argument we can use to do whatever we need to, and it makes a change to that particular panel. All right? This would be better if there were other things we wanted to do with the panel. I don't know. I can't think of any examples in this case, but if there are other things that we want to do with the panel besides simply showing it, then this would give us some gain because it would eliminate some duplicated code. 
Could we continue refactoring this? Yup, we could. How could we continue? Well, we could probably look on our page for everything that's a panel and change this function to hide it. All right? So we wouldn't have to hard code the specific panels. Then we'd never have to change that method again, even if we added another panel. But, like with everything else, practicality trumps refactoring in many cases. In this case, we're done with class today. All right? So I'm not going to go in and do that. But probably wouldn't be that hard. I can't say I know off the top of my head how to do it, but I'm sure a little bit of Googling we could figure that one out. All right? That might be a good challenge if you want to try it. Uh, if you want to try figuring out how to take this example and make it so it loops through and hides every panel, more power to you. All right? I doubt if I'll do it uh, in class. The point of this is, though, is that there's more considerations at work than uh, simply getting the code to work. Uh, and, and a big consideration, again, is the notion of do not repeat yourself of, uh, of uh, coding so that it's more easily maintained. Now, this is just that one component, but you can extend that philosophy um, uh, across into other environments. All right, that's all I had today. Thursday, we will talk about, um, again, more controls, more coding stuff. Questions?